know my linya is this is teacher Jomai and today we're going to discuss the topic elements and compounds. This video tutorial is based from your learning activity sheet in time 7, quarter 1, week 3. So bring out your learning activity sheet as well as your learner's module on page 43 to 51. The learning target for this session is Recognize that substances are classified into elements and compounds. Before the lesson, let's have a warm-up exercise. I have here two questions for you to answer. What do you think is the word behind the pictures? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Good job! The answer is element. What do you think is the word behind the pictures? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Very good! The answer is compound. Your substances can be classified into elements and compounds. An element is a pure substance that cannot be broken down by chemical methods into simpler parts. For example, a piece of iron cannot be broken down into anything other than iron, simply because iron is an example of element. If you keep breaking a piece of iron, the pieces would get smaller, but each piece will always be iron. Let's talk about compounds. A compound is a pure substance that is made up of two or more atoms. For example, we have one atom of carbon plus one molecule of oxygen is equal to one molecule of carbon dioxide. Another example is the common salt. It can be called molecules or compound because it is made up of sodium and chloride. The common salt or the NaCl is composed of one atom of sodium plus one atom of chloride equal to a molecule of sodium chloride. Let's try if you can classify the substance with an element or compound. Is copper an element or compound? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Very good! Copper is an element. Next, is salt an element or compound? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Fantastic! Salt is a compound. Is gold an element or compound? Your timer starts now.
what do you think is the answer? Great! Gold is an element. Is water an element or compound? Your timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? Nice one! Water is a compound. Is baking soda an element or compound? Your timer starts now. What do you think? Is the answer. Awesome! Baking soda is a compound. Now, let's have some recap. What is element? Element is consists of only one type of atom and a pure substance that cannot be broken down into simpler parts. Next, what is a compound. A compound is a pure substance that composed of two or more atoms. At this point, turn your activity sheet on the engagement part. Reminder, do not write anything on this activity sheet. Write your answers on a separate long band paper. For engagement activity number one, you are going to write C if the statement is true and F the statement is false. For engagement activity number 2, using the Venn diagram, identify the similarities and differences of elements and compounds. For engagement activity number 3, cut four food labels, nutrition pack, and ingredient card from different food products. Paste the label on your answer sheet, particularly on a separate long band paper. List down the compound in the food label and the constituent element. For example, in soy sauce, we see the ingredients water. For the constituent element, we have hydrogen and oxygen. The wrap up activity just provide a brief explanation to answer the question How can you differentiate elements and compounds? Today, if you have questions or clarifications regarding the topics that we discussed, feel free to contact the subject teacher through text or call, or you may also post in your official Facebook page or group. watching don't forget to like and subscribe